again, Vintage Oddboard Motor Fans. This is T Mike down in South Louisiana, and today I'm making a video on resource tools for beginners and reference manuals for beginners. Those are the two things that you would need to get really started doing these motors. So back in the day when I was in the real workforce, we used to find out our information by getting on the phone and calling somebody. You, somebody would answer and you talk to a tech support or the manufacturer representative that would give you the answers. Well, those days are gone now. Now we have what is known as the internet. And I think it's here to stay. So when I started this about six years ago, I had to figure out how to get my information. And the thought came to me about who do you call? Well, you know who you call? You call the internet. Not on the phone, you get on your computer and you get on the internet and you uh, found Google. Awesome. You get on the Google and you put in your question, for instance, how to restore or replace a rope on a rewind starter. And the Google goes out and finds the information for you and brings you back search results. Problem is, you got a lot of search results. Which ones do you go through? Well, I finally figured out after a while that you click on videos and you find a YouTube video that'll show you what to do. The problem is there's a lot of YouTube videos and which ones do you watch? So hopefully you'll find T Mike's YouTube videos and you'll get the real information straight to you. So that's the resource tools I'm gonna recommend to you. I have two recommendations for the reference manuals. The first one and the best one, I believe, is C-Lock. C-Lock manuals. They make them for Johnson and Mercury and all the other brands, but I'm a Johnson guy, as you can see by my hat. So I'll put in the description the website for you to go to get you a manual. It has all the different years. This one is 1958 to 72, and it's a really good manual. I highly recommend it. The other one is the Johnson Service Manual. And this is from the manufacturer. This is the years 1922 to 55, but you can find it in PDF format on the internet and print out your own. I printed out my own and made my book. So that's the two reference manuals I would highly recommend. So in summary, the resource tools I recommended are the Google and the YouTube. And the reference manuals that I recommended are C-Lock and the Johnson Service Manuals. So between these four tools, you ought to be able to really get started and start restoring your vintage outboards. Hope you enjoyed. Please click on the subscribe button down below to see more T-Mike videos. And y'all have a great time. See y'all later.